getting found by the day, baby. What you waiting on? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be revamping an old wig that I had. I've had this wig for like plus, maybe a year and plus. So basically what I'm going to be doing is revamping the, the, the wig. Um, I have so much exposed excess lace because the hair has um, vanished from that lace. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be fixing it and pulling it forward um, until I find like a lace that actually can fit this because a lot of the hair, hair stores, not hair stores, but like um, the vendors here, they're only selling like tea wigs or they're only selling 4x4s four four and stuff. So some of the hair I've heard has not been good quality. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically cutting the excess lace off in a jagged edge motion i'm gonna do that on both sides and um you see that little piece right there i make my own wigs so i'm gonna cut off that piece right there because this usually comes to the end of the lace but since there is no more lace it's further out so i'm gonna do that to both sides just to make it look more realistic So now I'm just going to be using the clear got to be glue and applying it to the width of where I believe the lace um, fits and I'm just going on the cap and also a little bit on my scalp. I try not to go, I, I want, sometimes I want, I don't want to go on my edges so I put the cap really really close um, as much as I can and then I'm blow drying on uh, hot air. And I'm not doing it for too long, just very, very quickly. I don't want it tacky. I just want it a little bit uh, dry, like a, a little stiffer consistency. I'm going to pull the lace forward and lay it on there and, and um, pull both sides of the lace for a good maybe like 45 seconds to a minute. Just have it adhere to there. And then I'll take the wrap down comb and press it down into the glue just making it uh, have a flawless look and then blow drying it again.
a mistake that I made here is I started to work on the baby hairs where I should have really started working on my middle part then the baby hairs but I think at this moment I was just trying to figure out how to make this thing work how to make it look good because I'm working with a limited amount of lace now and that's the main reason why I did not replug it because the lace is so much farther back now than it was before and I'm just using a hot comb to see what I'm working with because it kind of um it kind of like it kind of places the hair back for you really really well versus you just combing it out but again I would start with my middle part before I started doing my baby hairs because it will burn your hair but it looks so nice when you do this so professional and um one thing about revamping your wig line um because you're probably looking like her her line not even that straight some of the hair has been i wouldn't say plucked out but has been lost due to time so i'm gonna work with what i got and i don't want to cut majority of the front for the baby hair because it's already a little bit a little lace you know so all i did was cut on the um i think that was the right side and left the left side by itself or vice versa and i'm using nairobi mousing foam or styling foam a little bit on it because you know you're using you're you're putting something tacky to put something water soluble in it no bueno so I'm going to show you how I fill in that missing link. <laughs> Basically with just mascara. And don't mind, I did not cover the track in the back. Girl, I could barely see what's in my head, child. But um, that was fixed like later, later on. Um, not on camera. All you got to do is just take some pieces of hair, cover it, and wax it down, and I'll home it. That's it.
CCC. You gonna wait till I get real fine. And I'm gonna pay you no mind when I get real fine.